documents or restrict third-party testimony and order a high-level review of all cases. Administration officials describe the measures as temporary until Congress fully repeals. Don't ask, don't tell. The New York Times is reporting top Vatican officials, including Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, yes, the current Pope Benedict XVI, failed to defrock a Wisconsin-based priest who molested as many as 200 deaf boys. The priest, Lawrence C. Murphy, worked at a school for the deaf children from 1950 to 1974. Internal documents show Vatican officials, including Ratzinger, knew of the allegations but were most concerned with protecting the church's image. The news comes as the Vatican says it's accepted the resignation of a bishop accused of mishandling abuse allegations in Ireland. And in Indonesia, a leading television news network is reporting the Indonesian military is planning to charge journalist Alan Nairn with, quote, smearing its good name. In an appearance on Democracy Now! last week, Alan Nairn exposed that U.S.-backed Indonesian armed forces assassinated a series of civilian activists in the province of Aceh last year. Democracy Now! reached Alan earlier today, just before going to air. TV One, the Indonesian news channel, is running a text headline at the bottom of the screen saying that TNI, the Indonesian Armed Forces, are planning to uh, charge me, to have me arrested. Uh, they then ran a second uh, text headline at the bottom of the screen uh, saying that uh, they have uh, filed uh, such charges for uh, tarnishing the name of TNI, uh, the name of the armed forces. So uh, it's slightly ambiguous whether they are merely planning to have me arrested or whether they have already filed uh, the papers uh, with the police to uh, do so. And what does smearing the name of the military uh, mean? What is the penalty for that? Well. There's a whole series of statutes, uh, uh, but the lawyers I've spoken to say it, uh, it could involve up to six years in prison. Alan Aaron broke the story just as the White House is engaged in fierce behind-the-scenes negotiations with Congress on restoring Indonesian military aid. Nairn has issued a public challenge welcoming his arrest so that he can face off with the military in open court to expose the facts, he says. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. And welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world.